What I'm going to show you today is how I built a solar powered ESP32 node with a one watt amplifier. Now, uh, this is kind of case specific because I don't have a lot of action in my area. Uh, it doesn't get worked a lot. So, in an area where it got worked a lot more and you've got more congestion, um, you know, you're going to have, it's going to go through battery a little faster than in my situation. But the reason I built it is because in my situation, there's not a lot of traffic around here. Uh, I basically got the whole place to myself. The nearest node is probably, well, there's, there's a guy right over there. But, I mean, it's just, there's some stuff to the north of me, but to the south of me, it's just a barren desert. So, um, this would be a good idea for a scenario like that where you don't have a lot of people around you and you want to get out to help build your network. So in case somebody is, you know, a mile, two miles away from you, they'll actually see that you're there. Um, so, yeah, like I say, you know, your mileage may vary. It just depends on your specific circumstance. And this is what I have for my specific circumstance. Okay, this node is the one that I had sitting on the stump outside just a little bit ago. And uh, this is the one that you guys saw in my last Meshtastic video. So they're not the same. Now this one has been outside running for over a month. Uh, it ran for over a month straight. And then before that it was up for several weeks. And then I brought it in to upgrade it. And then what was it? Uh, two days ago, I brought it in because the previous three days, we didn't have any sunlight. And it went from 100% like every day down to 65% over those three days with no sunlight. So I figured, well, it would be a good time to bring it in and check it over and upgrade it. Uh, upgrade the update the firmware to the latest 2.5 version. So I did that, and um, inside this, well, first of all, this is just basically your rack wireless 4631 node, and you know this works fine because it's very low power consumption. Um, so it does, it does fine solar powered. Now, this one is running, um, client mode. Now, what I wanted to do was be able to run basically any node solar powered. And so I wouldn't just be tied to the rack wireless. Now, the reason for this, and I still don't know. Uh, if this is true or not, because of how the literature on it is, and trying to look up specifics of each node, I just haven't really done that. And, um, I tried to, and then I got a headache, and then I stopped doing it. But as far as their capacity for store and forward, I don't know if the Rack Wireless has the, if, like the 4631 has the store and forward ability. Um, and I don't know, but if so, the the ones that use the ESP32 stuff, I think they've got a better shot of being uh, able to do store and forward. And I do use store and forward, but I'm not sure how it's coming in because I've got a few nodes up. Um, yeah, I've got, I don't, I haven't been running this one, but my main node is a 4631 and um, I'm bringing the signal in 
and pumping it out with uh, Station G2. So I've got one of these just piggy and piggybacking off of the Station G2. And this one's just been sitting in the yard being tested for the past six or eight weeks. Now, what we have in here is this is a uh, Heltec wireless stick version. Uh, version 3. So I wanted something that did not have a screen and something cheap for this because I wanted to try to run it solar powered and I also connected an amplifier to this one. I got this off of AliExpress and it it uh, 1.3 amp max on the other side of it you can adjust the RF gain and the maximum import, input for it is 20 uh, dBi so when you connect your board to it make sure that your board is 20 dBi or less and like I say you can fine tune it on the other side uh, all that stuff is beyond the scope of this video, but you legally can only run one watt with this LoRa stuff. So, now, um, I discovered that running this in uh, router mode is about the same energy consumption as this running in client mode and I also discovered that router mode really does work and I'm going to show you a few things about it but that has enabled me to run this node solar powered for like six or eight weeks outside and I'm going to get into a little bit on how I did that at first I was looking at this board online and I saw that it had a 5 volt pin because this amplifier runs off of 5 volts I was thinking great that'll be easy peasy I can just run the power from the board to the amplifier and all will be well I did that initially and I noticed that the light on the amplifier was only lit up when the sun was out and it dawned on me that uh, I'm only getting 5 volts off that pin when it's plugged into USB because I've got the USB from the solar panel plugged directly into that. So then I had to figure out a way to um, run the amplifier you know, when the sun is not out also like at night because the amplifier would work fine during the day running off of the solar panel i'm guessing it would uh but at night you know there there wouldn't be any power going to the amplifier so um the amplifier takes five volts so i had to get five volts from the battery to the amplifier and that's done with this little converter uh, let me get some part numbers on all this stuff well here is that part number and this is adjusted right here and my experience with these you just have to keep dicking around with that little screw until it starts working and you see the change of voltage on your output end and then when it gets to your desired voltage then you're good to go. So that's wired to a charging board. And I'm trying to remember why I wired it to a charging board. I think that I did this. Well, here's the number for that. These are great. Um, and I'll build one of these with you later on. But these are the parts that you're going to want to get if you want to build one of these with me. I think I was trying to figure out why I did that last night laying in bed and best I could come up with was I wanted to be able to charge the battery pack 
without running it through the board. And yeah, so I believe that's why I did that. And if I come up with something different on why I did that, uh, I will definitely let you know. Anyway, I put a power switch in here also that just cuts power from the battery to the board. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been running. It only gets like, it was only getting a few hours of sunlight every day. And that was fine. So what I've discovered is once you start, um, once you have like a few days where you've got no sunlight and this battery pack starts getting whittled down, it takes it a long time to build it back up from that solar panel um i imagine a, a slightly rough guess of getting uh, 6500 milliamps back from like it was 3.65 volts and now it's like at 3.9 from two days in the sun not in the normal place that it lived, out in full sun. But yeah, anyway, I want to find a place in the woods for this thing to live. Uh, now that I know it's good to go. But yeah, that is how you can uh, basically solar power any of these ESP32 nodes. Just put it in router mode. And router mode does work. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about router mode is how to check on it. Um, this does pop up in the node list. And if I tap on it, it will uh, give me the option to trade positions with it. And if I hit trade positions, it uh, bumps this node all the way up to the top of the list. And then I can check my battery percentage on it. So without you know, going out and uh, opening it up and uh, hooking it to a computer. That's how you can check your battery on uh, router. But yeah, it's been working great. And uh, like I say, I'm just showing you this um, because, you know, with all these other new nodes coming out, these, uh, I mean, they don't throw them out. God knows you can still make, you know, uh, great routers out of them and high power routers to boot. One more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, if you don't put an amplifier in this, that makes it incredibly simple because all you have to do is run your solar panel to your ESP32 device and then the battery to that and run it in router mode and it will be fine. You only have to get complicated if you add in an amplifier and now you know how to do that. Uh, yeah, I will post a link for that amplifier uh, in the description. Welcome to that part of the video where I just got finished editing and realized I needed to make several clarifications how I measured the uh, consumption of the uh, wireless, Heltec wireless stick light version 3 uh, in router mode is with this little device here. It's another AliExpress deal. Uh, I got this on sale. It was like six bucks, six or seven bucks delivered. I think normally they're about 10 or 12 bucks, uh, but it's just a little. A USB uh, monitor. I can't remember exactly what you call it, but I'll, I'll put it below also. It's real handy uh, because you can, it's got two buttons on it. One of them resets it and the other one changes your orientation. And no, well. See there, it's going to turn it off. But yeah, real 
real handy little device and yeah, they're they're pretty cheap so uh yeah you can spend 60 bucks on them if you want to but uh getting back to this the solar panel i forgot to mention that i like to use these solar panels that are already set up for charging usb devices it's got your uh, voltage converter that gives you a stable five volt volts in this little package uh, a lot like our chips that we used so you've already got that in here and these are six or seven dollars on aliexpress i think they're five watt panels something like that but um yeah if, if you get just a raw uh, solar panel you could do it with the use of those but this is just a lot simpler uh, another thing about measuring the power consumption is you need to do it with just the raw board with uh, no battery connected to it uh, because if you have a battery connected to it you'll see what the battery is consuming as far as it's charging up but if you've just got it by itself you can actually see uh, the consumption of the circuit board and uh, if you send a message you'll also see that wattage bump up it's pretty cool one last thing now if to make it even more simple you can pick up these uh, USB to USB-C adapters. And uh, I think you may have seen on my note, I've got one that's going off at a right angle. And they, they've got just about any kind of USB to USB-C adapter that you could imagine. It just depends on what you end up with. This is how most of them come. I think a few of them out there have where you can plug into that uh, it just depends and i'm not sure if a 10 watt panel would charge your batteries faster it might so that would be something to look into because uh, they've got those they're about uh, i thought maybe i had one right behind me no but they're about that long and about that wide all right guys uh later